It's been suggested that AI may be as transformational as electricity. So here are three ways that AI can be used in organizations today. The first is through augmented decision making. So AI has increased in popularity along with the increase in data and most importantly, technological advancements. The reason that we're able to get so much out of AI nowadays is not just because it's been invented, it's actually been around for a while. It's because we now have the technology to process a lot of data and do so very, very quickly. And data is everywhere. This means we can use hundreds of thousands of data points in our decision making. So let's say that you are in inventory management, for example. You can do better inventory management by looking at weather, uh, demand, past inventory behaviors, and even your current staffing and road pipeline. Augmented decision making is also being seen around pricing strategies. And there is incredible technology coming out of China that shows how you can price a job just by drawing a mock-up um, of an engineering project. In the creation of um, entertainment, we're also seeing decision augmenting um, enabled through AI. For example, Netflix uh, can determine what types of movies or series it should produce for its content creation by using data and processing it through AI. Now, the second area where AI can positively influence organizations is through automating work. Now, this is what we often think about when we think about AI. We think about robots, we think about self-driving cars. Yet, interestingly, automating work through AI does not just come from the obvious way of robots. It's also about knowledge work, too. So some estimates suggest that as much as 40% of knowledge work can be automated. These are the menial tasks. So Deloitte, for example, have a piece of AI enabled software that looks through legal documents to find when, uh, what key bits of information they need for a certain case. The third way managers can use AI to positively influence their organization is by better engaging with customers and with employees. So conversational AI has really taken off over the past five years. And this means that you can have conversations with AI bots, uh, like a chat bot, for example, where you put in your question and your um, answer is returned to you. Other areas where you can engage with, with employees and with customers is by understanding their preferences and their needs by their engagement and their behaviors. So going back to Netflix again, um, if I go to Netflix, I notice that my whole profile looks very different than my partner's. And that's because I behave in a different way and Netflix can respond in that way. The same idea goes for personalized marketing also. So that was a very quick rundown of ways that you can use AI to help improve differentiation or reduce costs in organizations. So we covered first augmented decision making, second, uh, automating work, and third, engaging with employees and customers better. Thank you.